Hello friends, how's it going? My name's Popeye and today we're playing some more Steins Gate Zero. Uh, before I get started, um, a couple of things. First of all, this game is not for everyone. Um, this game has a lot of mature themes. If any of these themes make you feel uncomfortable, please find some place that makes you uh, more comfortable tonight. This game includes themes of uh, murder, death, suicide, torture, sexual assault, rape, um, blood, gore, any of those things against a minor. Um, if you missed any of those, you can see them in the description, uh, which is now updated to have all of those, I believe. And if I'm missing one, let me know and I will add it. Um, yeah, so if any of those things is not for you, please find some place that'll make you feel more comfortable this evening. Um, yeah, last time on Steins Gate Zero, um, the gist of it was, um, man, we did so much, I don't even remember where to start. Um, so we knew someone was coming after, thank you Sam, says we all just lost the game. We knew, um, that someone had messed with uh, Christina's memories as part of the Amadeus project. We hacked into the university server, found that the files were gone. In their place was a locked folder, which had better encryption than the entire university server, apparently. Um, we also hacked Strat4 and um, found out that they were doing experiments. Um, they didn't directly have uh, Christina's memory data, we surmised that it was still in the university drive, in that locked folder. Um, we were able to find that uh, Kagari was one of their test subjects. They've been doing brainwashing stuff. So, basically, what we decided to do was a couple things. Well, Daru was busy trying to hack this folder because he needed, I believe he said, about half a day, 12 hours, 16 hours, something like that to hack this folder. Um, we realized that the Amadeus network was still online, um, and if someone was to, say, access it, they would come after whoever it was. So we had Maho create a couple of smartphones with access to it with a simple program simple quote-unquote this is actually more difficult than they made it sound to be because i've literally done it um where if you ask it stuff it responds with predetermined voice clips um constructed from okabe's uh voice oh yeah we we, we went back to being hoen kyoma because that's apparently the only way he can deal with time travel again um <laughs> that's easy stuff so uh, I'm not allowed to say specifics because, um, non-disclosure agreements, but basically I once worked on a project where, uh, in, it was, it was aimed at, at like, they, they said kids, I would say it was more for like teenagers, young adults, basically, um, you had a thing and it would read someone's Twitter uh, your, your, their tweets, and from that it would uh, figure out how to respond to certain questions, and then basically we were using um, uh, I can't remember exactly what the library was called. It was a Google library that um, basically did what they were saying, where right? if you asked for certain like words or phrases or whatever, it would be smart enough to be like, oh, you're talking about like, let's say you mentioned hockey it would be smart enough to know like oh you're talking about sports you're talking about hockey and it would pull up whatever sports stuff and it, it would uh then it would say it to you <laughs> no i did not work for microsoft the closest i've come to working for microsoft is i was one of the beta developers on the microsoft connect for windows um that's the closest i've come <laughs> Um, but yeah, so Maho made this. We had two teams. One was Mayuri and Suzuha, and the other was um, Luca and Ferris, I think, were the two ones. Anyways, we sent them on different sides of the town where they'd regularly call Amadeus, and um, 
basically just keep moving moving so the geo pings would would throw off uh strat four um knowing that they were after uh kagari we had kagari go with i can't remember the name the other one of the three friends who's not in the frame right now the one we thought was the evil one um go to daru's secret bunker however uh we didn't realize that kagari was still brainwashed and that if she heard a specific Mozart song, which Twitch would probably DMCA me for if I played it, um, she would basically become a mindless zombie and go towards it. So she was captured. We were left with no choice but to invade Strat 4's secret hideout, which we only knew because we heard about it in the future that it was actually in our university's basement. So, uh, Suzuha and us and Okabe, we go, we break into their hideout, there's a bunch of dead guys already there, and Dr. Reyes is there, and she's got Kagari strapped into a machine where she's gonna imprint uh, Christina's memories, this time having fixed the bug, thank you game for actually saying there can be bugs in software, although it's just one, and like, apparently every other software is perfect, but yay for, yay for actual bugs in software. Um... And basically, we stalled, we talked out of our behinds so that Daru could finish hacking and uh, delete the files um, from the server before they could be put into Kagari's head. Um, a struggle happened, we freed Kagari, Dr. Reyes is like, you know what, screw you, I can just implant the memories into my own head. And just as she was about to do that, Daru deleted the files, so she deleted her own memories and installed an empty folder inside her head, and is now a zombie with no memories. Um, and then we came back here, and it's four days later, I believe. I think that about covers it. Um, there's a very short, like, six-minute summary. So yeah, uh, we're now in the aftermath of having deleted all of Christina's memories from the world, which will hopefully mean that time travel is no longer possible. So five more minutes of ending. To be honest, I feel like that's the case. I feel like we're near the ending. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Going by luck, we are. <laughs> Also knowing my luck, I'm going to be like, oh, the ending's done, and it's literally another two hours long of just slice-of-life stuff. That's what happened last ending. <laughs> oh, and we officially made everyone a lab member, so everyone's now a lab member. Except for Moaka. We didn't make Moaka a lab member, but her number is reserved. There's a 3,000 time leap. Oh, yes! Was, was that last stream? Last stream may have all. Yeah, that was last stream. We also just time traveled from the future to the past. Some. That bit, I honestly thought, would take several hours. And, like, the part after we time-traveled from the future back to the past would be the shorter part, but no. They were like, Okabe, you need to go back to the past. It'll take 3,000 time leaps. And he's like, let me think about it. Okay. And then he's back in the past. Like, it was literally that quick. Um, and as I said last time, that's the first thing I found where the anime did it better. I'm pretty sure that's... The, the one where he's in the future is an entire episode, and I think it's the first half is the, like, I'm in the future, what happened, why am I here, Lukako's dead. And the second half is him time-leaping, because he has to go back. First of all, you have the, the mental and physical strain of going back in time 3,000 times. He has to go back through World War III. There is... I'm pretty sure, it's been a while since I've watched the anime, but I feel like this happened. He literally has to run between buildings while, like, bombs and stuff are going off in the streets because he was in a different building and he needs to make it back to the time leap machine. Luca didn't die. Uh, Samus is in denial. 
Um, yeah, and partway through, he's like, he's having a mental breakdown. Cause he's like, I've only done whatever, a thousand leaps. I have to do this 2,000 more times. Is it worth it? What am I, do like, what am I even going to do when I get there? And he ha you have all this time for him contemplating, what am I doing? Is this the right thing? He has the same conversations over and over again, because he time leaps, and they're like, oh, you're awake now. And he literally has the exact same conversation of, yes, I'm awake. I'm aware of what's happening. I need to go back to the past. I know it's going to be 3,000 times, well, 2,958 more time leaps. And he has the exact same conversations every time. And I think they also did the um, the one where he's talking with with Maho about when he goes back to talk to Christina, like what he's gonna say. And in in the game, that whole scene was maybe like two minutes, like maybe a minute if you weren't even streaming it, if you were just reading the text and, and clicking through, it was maybe a minute tops. In the anime, I'm pretty sure that's like a five minute conversation. Um. Anyways, that's my that's my aside for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki, that was the girl's name I couldn't come up with. Uh, はい、終わったら連絡します。週末の予定決めましょう。オッケー。じゃ、連絡待ってるよ。何何でな誰にゃん、ゆきにゃんとかなりいい感じだにゃ。そうそう。あ、でもフェリーしたんへの愛ももち
ただシステムがうまく作動しなかっただけじゃないんダルニャンの言う通りだにゃ考えすぎることないにゃうんそうなのかななんか気になるんだよねそういえば、yeah, you, 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 like first of all higher level education is already super expensive and like very elitist U.S. school prices are also ridiculous. Um, I had a cousin who went through law school, and he had been accepted at Yale, I think it was. Um, I don't, like, I don't even think he applied to it. I think they made him an offer. But it was, it was going to be like $80,000 a year, and he's just like, no. I, I, no. <laughs> Um, and yeah, like even even base school in the U.S. I've heard of people doing like forty thousand a year. Like it, it's that's just ridiculous. Yugari seemed to have been thinking of something. She opened her mouth to speak. But... <laughs> Like, I'm just trying to think, for for my course, I, w I was about middle of the road in terms of, like, tuition and stuff, because that, that changes depending on what your course, or what your major is. Um, I think my tuition, course fees, and, like, books, assuming you acquired them legally, would have been a... Uh, Trying to like eight to ten thousand a year, um, and that wouldn't include you know food, transportation, rent if you're living near campus. So at least your school provided books. That's nice. My school didn't. My school, it depended what they would do. Um, it depended professor to professor. Sometimes they'd have you do textbooks. My my right monitor, this one is currently supported by my third year computer graphics textbook. Um I'll admit a lot of them I did try and find uh online copies of. Um I wasn't always successful. Um but then the other thing they would do is they'd make and I can't remember what they called them, but basically what they would do is they'd be like Let's say the professor wanted you to read two chapters of this book and three chapters of this other book. Well, it doesn't make sense if they're like 20 chapters each to buy both books for like 10% of their content. So they would purchase the rights to reprint just those two chapters from this book and just the three chapters from this book in the like a little uh, duotang thing that you'd have to buy from the, from the university bookstore. Um... Yeah. <laughs> that being said, I also knew people who would just go to the university bookstore and read them <laughs> in the bookstore and <laughs> and just never buy them. That worked too. あの時声が聞こえたような気がするの。声うん。頭の奥で誰だかわからないけどダメって。<laughs> Yeah, like the the probably the average textbook if I had bought them all from the university store was probably 130 Canadian, so about 100 US a textbook. Um most courses just had one textbook. I did have some that had like two or three, but usually they were small ones. I I had a history course in my fourth year it was my elective and it had one, two, three. It had four textbooks. Um, well, two two were textbooks. One was more of a like, uh, how to describe? Just more like a hobbyist, like get to know this era and civilization. And then because it was like an ancient Middle Eastern history, then the other one was the Torah. Um, is it because the authors are still in crippling debt from, um, it depends, like, 
I had one textbook that was written by one of my university professors. Although, in, in credit to the guy, in I didn't buy it for his course. I bought it for another course. In It was a, uh, a Java programming book. And it was for a first year course. When I was in his class, and that was in third year, I think, he did not have us buy his own textbook. So at least props to him. So I know some people do that. They're like, I made this textbook. You're going to read my own textbook. And you know, like, I'm sure some of those people are doing it for, for the cash grab. I've also heard of some nice professors who are like, yeah, we're going to use my textbook. But I wrote it, so here it is for free. So. <laughs> あの時のことをほとんど覚えてないから、ただの夢か何かだったのかも。アマデウス。もしかしたら、アマデウスじゃないかしら。クリスが最後の最後で自分の記憶を鏡に変えて。ロジカルじゃない意見だな。So what is it? Lawful is purchase. Chaotic is uh, illegally download. <laughs> Thank you for the big lurk and big love, Fox. Have a good lurk. But Lukaku and Mayuri stared at each other when they heard Maho's words. <laughs> I just got a spam text message telling me that payment has been sent to me and to please visit a very specific website of http col I won't read the whole thing out because I don't want anyone to actually go there but it's just http colon slash slash and then an IP address <laughs> but you want to go there uh, but no No, it it is not one twenty seven zero zero one, nor is it local host. Could that have been when it happened? Yes, local host is not. <laughs> In a different world of line, Chrisu's memories had once existed inside Kagari. Maybe Chris had saved Kagari from experiencing the same fate here. There may have been another reason, but at least that's what I wanted to think. なおかりん、僕も一個わからんことがあるんだけど。なんだ？オカリンの話だと。Ah, <laughs> uh, you might have a faster time, Sam, to scraping the web for uh, known scam uh, websites and then visiting those sequentially. でも僕たちがあの時のことを覚えてるってことは、今回は変動してないってことだよな。at least multi-thread it, please. <laughs> I thought about that right after what had happened. これまでの世界線の変動はアマデウスに対してアクションを起こしたことでクリスの記憶が何者かの手に渡ったことが原因だと思われる。almost I've never done threading in my work. Um, yeah, like I've never used threading outside of school. And even inside school, I only had one course that taught multi-threading and it was like a two week topic or something. That at most we just did, it was like, uh, I think the example is something like printing numbers, and you just split up the thread, so it's like, oh, this thread prints the numbers 0 to 999, this thread does 1000 to 1999, and so on. Like, literally, that's all I did in terms of multi-threading. But 
アマデウスとクリスの記憶そのものを消去した原因が取り除かれればそれによる世界線の変動は起きないそういうことだろうカーズ・ダ・バトル・ベトゥン・ストラット・フォーエン・ドゥーパーはガーン。We got rid of the data that Chris had left behind. The future created by Chris's memories was gone. But Suzuha and Kagari were still here. If they were still here, then the future hadn't changed that much. Of course, I knew that. Unless I could reach Stein's Gate, the world line convergence wouldn't change. But that didn't mean that this was for nothing. There was that small flash of insight I'd felt in 2036. This world was another step towards it. So, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I took something out of the pocket of my white lab coat. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, we're, we're feeling generous today. Oh, he remade the pins. Oh, did he add more people's names? Ashmakufasha. Can we name the lab now? Yeah, the lab is named this. Oshmakufasa. That, that's the name. I hope you remember it. The badge had everyone's initials on it. Of course, Chrisu and Moakas were there too. I did a, added in Maho, Hiajo, Kagari, Shina, and Yuki Amane. That's、uh, the last three letters HSA by last name. Accepting the past for what it was and connecting it to the future. That was my job right now. Gari held the badge to her chest happily. The path that lay before me might be even harder than the one I'd traveled so far. But I knew the light was still there at the end of it. This feels like an ending.、Uh, the, the first treasure is the metal Upa that Mayuri gives her in the future. Which we have not talked about at all. <laughs> It was basically only there to, for Mayuri to be like, ooh, cool Upa. I've never seen this before.、It's, it doesn't exist, but also it looks like it's 20 years old. I don't know. どうしてあんなにもオカリンおじさんを頼りにしていたのかやっとわかった私もママがオカリンさんをずっと好きなのわかるなかカガリちゃん違うよマユシーはオカリンの人質でだからそういうのとは You can, you can love your captor it's called Stockholm syndrome come on ちょなんこれオカリンだけモテまくり許せんリアチェ爆発しろ Says the dude who has plans with his girlfriend on Saturday. 父さんには母さんがいるでしょ<laughs> Yeah, I think they mentioned it、um, earlier in one of these things. Or basically it was like internet slang for、uh, what you say to someone who has a girlfriend and isn't. Like an online nerd with no friends, basically.、Um, <laughs> it might be like a Japanese online slang. I mean, I've never heard of it. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm super into net slang in general, but yeah. <laughs> many different futures and many different pasts. Where they all converge, I know I'll find you. So, we can see that you're not calling someone. I hope you know this. Ah, what did I? Ima, mother, son of the kid. 
Also, I, I know we deleted all the files off of the Amadeus server, but that wouldn't necessarily delete the icon, the application off of our phone. I wish the app was still there and you could just press it and get a 500 error. Or a 404 server not found. Either would be great. <laughs> Pursue until the day comes that we meet. Ah, uh, if it was down, you would. It, well, I guess it depends how your server is hosted. Um, you could get a connection error. You could, if you're hosting, hello chaos. Uh, you could get, if it's hosted through, like, Cloudflare, um, we see this when, when sites host on Cloudflare go down, you get a Cloudflare error page, so you could see an intermediate error page if it's hosted through some kind of, uh, intermediary. Um. Assuming the server itself is running but the files aren't there, then, yes, I would... I would assume you'd get a 500 error because it would... It, it wouldn't even hit a routing page or any... a routing table. So, yes. All I have, I give to you. This, this also assumes, Samus is that your server is designed to not die <laughs> when it crashes and it like has like a no hop or something that keeps it up and running <laughs> otherwise the first time someone tries to access the app the whole server just crashes and then there's no server running anymore okay uh my head's hiding the date it's now december 18th of 2011 akihabara a year after all the chaos, Maho visited the Future Gadget Lab for the first time in a long while. Do you remember 2011? Good times. You thought it was July of 2021. Hello, Deadbeard. How is it going? This pandemic's made, <laughs> made dates so tough. Uh, if you swipe right on everyone, it makes the dates much easier. <laughs> yeah, Samus has had the same joke. <laughs> Welcome to Twinder. <laughs> Why is it phrased like I'm at the drive-thru at McDonald's, though? Wait, is, is Twinder like a drive-thru for dates? Can I, like, just go through and be like, uh, yeah, I'll have a number three, um, with, with fries, please? Like, is, does that how it work? <laughs> You're going for Twitch Tinder? <laughs> but it's a dating service for twins? Twin- <laughs> Number three, but upside dessert. Uh, upsized dessert. So you immediately don't you like that? Fuck up, did you? Don't I? Deadbeard, wasn't I? Wasn't I in a stream with you? Like, thank you for the host. Wasn't I in a stream with you? Like, literally six hours ago, and you're like, I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> I don't think it was that long ago. <laughs> It said you've been six hours of productive. Well, I, I guess that beats being six hours of unproductive. Do, 
の一年真帆さんに会えなくて寂しかったよ<笑> That sleep is optional? But Sam says, I swear you have one of the most regimented sleep schedules of any other streamer I've seen on Twitch. <laughs> oh no, Beardy's doing fusion things again. Who did we have to sacrifice? The events of last January had left deep scars on Maho's lab. Of course they had. Not only was Amadeus involved, but many people in the college, including Dr. Reyes, had been involved as well. In the crash, at a very uh, regular point. I mean, that's both good and bad. Like, it's good to have regularity, bad to have, I guess, to be stuck to it so rigidly. Metroid fusion? But, is it really good? This one year is going to be a waste. It's not a waste. First of all, この世界の未来が過去に繋がるって言ったのはあなたでしょ。だから私はこの世界で私がすべきことをやっただけよ。ああ、そうだったな。Wait, chaos will wear earrings but not a shirt? If we got chaos earrings that had a T-shirt on them, would he wear them? Real questions. I was supposed to die in 2025, but I was alive. Everyone had been fooled. The past me. Everyone in the future. The world had been deceived. I thought the future was certain, but instead I found a future I didn't expect. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, Sam says the game needs you to know. If we got Chaos earrings with a shirt on them, would he wear them? <laughs> Thank you for the quote. Yep, obligatory wrong bot of the day. Uh, maybe it was also that you shouted at it. It didn't like being shouted at. If a tree falls in the forest, would Chaos be there to hear it? Um, Only if he's burying the people in his basement there, I guess? <laughs> So, wouldn't I be able to deceive the world too? And by doing so, avoid the future that awaited us? If I could deceive the world, maybe I could find Stein's Gate. But how to do so, unfortunately, was beyond me right now. But the future me had said... That's not... I really hope we're not future Daru. Jeez, that's a terrifying thought. Future Samus had said, Stop doing those weird Google searches, Mim. Yeah, sounds like something you would say. Future Deadbeard would appear, say this, then leave. Murder, solving all your problems. I'm worried about what Mim's weird Google searches are now if there's murder involved. What poisons don't show up in an autopsy? Many futures, all connected to the past. That meant there was only one thing for me to do. <laughs> Sam says, please don't get caught by the FBI while you're lurking. 
Imagine the uncertainty in that situation, especially if you weren't aware of anyone being murdered. An old microwave sitting in the back of the development room. It was the time leap machine that Maho had helped finish. Daru had added a new function to it. It acts like a microwave now. That's right, everything began here. Our fate in Christus had all been ruined by this device. The one difference between this and the old phone wave was that this one was connected to a smartphone, not an old feature phone. Get with the times, Grandpa. Text messages to the past would be detected by CERN, no matter what I did. Which meant we'd become a target. That would mean taking this world that I'd gained only at the cost of sacrificing Christie right back to where we started. There'd be no point in that. <laughs> this is where it pays to be Australian no FBI here. Uh, what is the Australian group that hunts down all, all those hentai watchers, Chaos? <laughs> There were other ways to send messages. The software we use now, Ryan, was one of them. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> it's, it's Jason. He works hard. Jason! Of course, the idea of using electrons of the CRT television in the Braun Tube Workshop to control gravity and create a singularity to send the message back in time was the same. Okay, what's a singularity? Uh, astrophysics term, gravitational singularity. This refers to a place where gravity is infinite. However, the existence of such a singularity is only theoretical. And since the inside of a gravitational singularity would be impossible to observe, cannot be proven. A black hole singularity is the point created by the gravitational collapse of a star that has reached the end of its life. You can think of all the matter in the star within the radius of several million kilometers compressed down into the space smaller than the period at the end of this sentence. What about Carl? Carl's a slacker. The amount we could send was still 18 characters, same as the demon. Oh, can we send emojis now because we're on a smartphone? That'd be awesome. Our 18 characters just like smiley face, peach, eggplant, winky face. And that's your memories compressed. There you go. <laughs> we didn't have to worry about CERN finding it. We didn't have to worry about Mayuri being killed. The only problem was that we couldn't send messages back before we started using Rhine. But there was nothing I could do about that. The most important thing to do right now is to make it possible. <laughs> I'm waiting to see what Winky Face is. Winky Face sounds like it's from a game I don't want Deadbeard to gift me on Steam. He complained, but he pulled it off anyway. He's one of the Teletubbies. <laughs> Tinky Winky Face. Okay, so if if Tinky Winky is the Winky Face emoji, what are the other Teletubbies in emoji form? I need to know this now. We got Dipsy, Lala, and Poe. Oh, Poe is poo. Poe is the poo emoji. Um. Is, is there a Twinkie emoji? Because <laughs> Tinky Winky could be Twinky Wink. You know, Tinky Winky is the Winky face. Uh. 
What? Why am I thinking about this? Why is this what I do with my time? Lol. Tipsy lol and poo. <laughs> Winky, tipsy, lol and poo. There. <laughs> I have not heard of the baby Teletubbies. <laughs> Time out. Hold on. Uh, someone with a sword want to swing it, please? So, thank you, Chaos. The existence of baby Teletubbies implies that those things had sex and had children. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> The Third World War was going to happen unless I could stop it. Kagari and Suzuha's presence made that obvious. <laughs> That's Winky Face Tipsy Lol and Boo. <laughs> Thank for the quote, Deadbeard. See, Samus is the last time I hit it at the same time as someone. It, like, shifted it down because in my mod view I always still have it there, but, like, the crossed out version. Um. But it, it had moved it so, like, it had, you know, deleted by, blah, blah, blah. And I accidentally clicked on the link, and I got to see what happens if you want to become famous. There was only one future that lay before us. But it was another piece of the path that would lead us to Stein's Gate. To get there, I would have to go into the past and start over. Oh, we're going back into the past? It, it would be fun... J don't say it'll be fine. Now it's not going to be fine. <laughs> you were zoomed in too far. <laughs> I was capable of starting over many th as many things as I needed to now. I could overcome anything. Until I reached the promised door. It's not even a rule 34 thing that the baby Teletubbies are... Gosh dang it, Teletubbies. Is there a baby vacuum? The sun was already a baby. What is the sun now? A sperm? Like, what? <laughs> Thank you, Deadbeard. I hadn't heard of the baby Teletubbies. Wait, hang on a minute. The, ex the existence of those means that those things had sex. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> what are these quotes? I want to know. There's just gonna be, like, just... Quotes about, like, death, time travel, just, like, five quotes about the Teletubbies, and everyone's gonna be like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> and the new Teletubby song is just them yelling this at the camera. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> have my teacher flash all these guys. <laughs> uh... The new Teletubbies is not very kid-friendly. Sending that message must have been why I'd come to this world line in the first place. I can't actually see the message, by the way. It won't let me open my phone. Of course, I didn't know what I'd think or what I'd do when I received it. But I knew I would be successful. <laughs> not just Teletubbies, but Teletubbies bang. Yeah. The sun was even quoted as saying this about your stream. I would do Popeye dates, daddy. <laughs> no, I don't want to bang the sun. Don't make me bang the sun. <laughs> I would lead us to another future and to another past. Kagari-san, <laughs> Today is a good day for quotes. No, I don't want to bang the sun. Please don't make me bang the sun. I saw it coming too, Samus is. But I'm at the point where just like, eh, whatever, I'll say it. <laughs> if it gets quoted, it gets quoted. Yeah, and... See, the worst part about banging the sun is you can only do it once, because then your junk is gone. Oh, is that how new stars are made? What even is this conversation? 
アトラクタフィールド理論では起こるべきものは必ず起こるそう決まっている世界線が変わろうと君はマユリに出会うはずだ<笑> Thank you, dead beard. The worst part about banging the sun is you can only do it once because then your junk is gone. <laughs> yeah, the sun's got a lot of degrees. Ah, It's even more if you make it freedom units. Are you blushing? Leo, you are a good person. I Motomotoa, or a gamma ita taneda. This is where things got really hard. So did you was it? I got a so the city who do send him a do send him a please. You want to make a cryptocurrency called Freedom Units? I mean, I don't see why not. I had a co-worker who made his own cryptocurrency at one point. Just for absolute fun. I don't think anyone bought it, but he made it. I don't even think you can find it online anymore, because I did try to find it a while back. So I was telling some of the new co-workers, because he doesn't work with us anymore, about it. Daru, shut up. <laughs> You've been trying to make a fake cryptocurrency called Friendship Points? <clears throat> the real cryptocurrency were the friendship points we made along the way. There we go. When the past changed, everything I'd done in the past year would be undone. All the futures I'd experienced and all the time it took me to come back would go away too. But they wouldn't go to waste. I was here now, in the past, I was just about to begin my work. Oh, I just earned six friendship points with that comment? How, how much is that worth? <laughs> What is the one friendship point to one US dollar conversion? When all those lives came together, the door to the future would be waiting. Stein's Gate would be waiting. What the heck is in the top right hand corner? It looks like you took a hand grenade and like supersized it to be 10 feet long. More than any American can afford because French is worth more than money. Th that's saying something, because I mean, just look at the U the U.S. military budget each year. That's a so much money. I love the idea of just delegating debt. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't. I don't want to know how much debt. Canada's in debt to... Eh, is it the same? Okay, so in Canada, we're in debt at the federal level and at the provincial level. Is it the same in the US where you're in debt at the federal level and at the state level? Or can the state, like a specific state, say Alabama, not go into debt by itself? To find the way there, I would change the past again. It's such a weird thing to me that, like, our, my province is in debt and so is my whole country. <laughs> Doesn't gift five subs. You, Deadbeard, you have to assign the debt. You make someone else gift the sub, and then they owe the money. That That's how assigning debt works. <laughs> Risu, so that someday we can be together once more. No.
No, I, I did not ask for gifted subs. If countries are probably in debt to, like, the World Bank and banks in general. Elon Musk. Uh, we've actually been in debt to aliens this whole time. You believe the states themselves cannot go into the debt. Okay, so it sounds like it's different in the U.S., but it's weird to me that, like, a in Canada at least, as like a province can go into debt on top of the whole federal government going into debt. This is more fictional currency than literal currency. Yeah. Yeah, because you're you're planning to never have any like everyone withdraw all their money at the exact same time, so there's no need to have all that money. But apparently, we finished this uh, this route. <laughs> The US dollar is actually a cryptocurrency, except for the gold in Fort Knox. That That's not a cryptocurrency. Crash the world, everyone withdraw. Okay, Chaos is an alien. I, I think the defining factor of aliens is that they don't like wearing shirts. Your bank is halfway across the country. Okay, so this ending is a little bit different. Because this ending didn't end with us continuing on into some future. This ending ended with us sending a D-Rine to the past to change the past. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. Okay. So. With that done, we can now boot... We have to go way back. So we finish this. We have to go all the way back to closed epigraph and boot this save. Can we go to bed now? You can go to bed anytime you want. <laughs> they only have one physical location left and it's in Texas. Oh, okay. <laughs> been awake for years okay so we have to load this data so we are going way back this is taking us back to December 15th um, literally one year prior and at the time we were in Yanabayashi Shrine and we were getting a phone call from Amadeus we elected to turn it off or to ignore the the call by turning off our phone this was, I don't know, like, episode 3 or something of this stream. Um, we're now on, what, episode 15? So we're going back, like, 12 episodes. Um, and we're finally taking the other branch from this. So, we're getting a call from Amadeus. Last time, we ignored it. This time, we're gonna answer it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this time we're going to juggle because Samus was waiting for a banger song to juggle to. <laughs> he finally pulled it off. Okay. <laughs> Juggling stuff. Okay.
How long were you sitting on that those points, Samuses? I knew you were close. I think that was two streams ago you were close. Oh, it's been so long since I've juggled. Get the behind the back. There we go. Oh, uh, what have we got? Oh, that was bad. Let me try that again. Get that one. Oh man. There we go. There you go. Why do I see a ban chaos? What's going on? Run on the spot while are you joggling? <laughs> you saw my feet. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Samus. At least I hadn't moved the camera or reset anything. <laughs> okay. I mean you you want the joggling? Oh no, I did move the camera. Gosh dang it. Okay. Just for you, I'll give you a quick joggling before the stretch. Is this everything you wanted? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Timeout chaos. Ten foot fetish. <laughs> You're gonna clip that really quickly. I wish I'd gotten the head stall then. <laughs> then. Just for, just for chaos, there's the foot. There's the other foot. <laughs> there you go. I'm waiting for someone to claim something else. I'm waiting for it. the joggling. You got the joggling. <clears throat> okay. Time to answer this phone call. <laughs> oh, she looks pissed. Nanda. You mean you don't want to type it by hand on mobile? <laughs> If no one's free, I can do it after stream.
I got rid of your favorite redemption. <laughs> I did take it away. Cause, I mean, I still have the means to do it. It just... <laughs> It just seemed like no one was using it, and we were only using it to bug Samus's, <laughs> so... Has she been dead every other ending? Okay, so... This game has, has six endings. We've done three. Um... The girl inside the phone has been dead the whole game, except for a very brief... Ten second... One where we switched back to the other world line very briefly. Um, we have physically deleted her once. Um, one of the other world lines, she never existed. Um, but yeah, so there's three remaining. Um, of those, we're doing one more bad end next. And then there's the normal end and the true ending, which... It's kind of like last time where they're they're tied on together. Um, so those will be triggered at the same time. But we have one more bad end. And the bad end we're doing next is the one that the anime actually starts with. And from a thematic point of view, probably makes the most sense to start with. But from a playing all the endings on stream point of view, um, it doesn't make sense to do it in that order just because it works out to be more time playing because you have to duplicate some stuff first you gave up easier than I expected maybe she realized in artificial intelligence there was nothing she could do realized I was making her sound like a real person the second that thought crossed my mind I almost saw an image of a bloody hand I gritted my teeth and waited for it to pass. I should really turn my smartphone off until I calm down a little. I was fine just a moment ago. And now even hearing Chrissy's voice was enough to send me into a panic. <laughs> I'd gone back to how I was half a year ago. Back then, even hearing Chrissy's name was enough to make me dizzy. I shouldn't have tried to chase Chrissy's shadow. For now, I should just turn off the smartphone. So what we're doing this time is we're not turning off the smartphone. In the end, I couldn't make that decision. So we left our smartphone on. <clears throat> And it's, it's still the 15th of December, and our phone is still on. We haven't had any Ryans. Oh, half of our con- I think we're missing a few contacts. Yeah. And I can't open Amadeus. I gulped down an entire bottle of mineral water and caught my breath. There was still little time before my meeting. I wanted to get some air up here and recover. I looked down over the scenery below the overpass. The city was in the Christmas spirit. The atmosphere was charged with excitement. It was the exact opposite of me. I took more deep breaths. I still felt like I wanted to throw up. I was getting a headache, too. I went to Dr. Laskinen like this. I'm sure I'd worry him. Could you copy it from chat? If you... As a mod, you you should actually be able to see the previous chat, so if you open chat on your other device, you might still be able to copy-paste it. Oh. You can't put Twitch on your mobile, though. Okay, fair enough. And then I realized that these two girls were coming up the coming up the stairs were looking at me. I peered into the late afternoon darkness to try and make out their faces. One of them, the girl with a short haircut, waved. Oh, 
まゆりの友達の。They were Mayuri's friends and fellow cosplayers. I think their cosplay names were Kaide and Fubuki. I didn't know their real names. Which one was Kaide and which was Fubuki again? I made them worry here, and they talked to Mayuri. It would cause a big fuss. I didn't want her to worry about me when she didn't have to. <laughs> you don't have to log in to see clips. Fair point. <laughs> I shouldn't have come back to Akihabara anyway. I'd run into people I knew just by walking through town. I should have gone towards Kondo when I left the shrine. <laughs> So, ka. So, da yo. Fubuki chan. So, na Okarin san o miteru. Mayushi mo tsura so de. Watashi mo Okarin san to Mayushi no koto miteru to. Naki so ni natte. Te, watashi nani itte n daro. Yes, this is exact same as before, except our phone's still on. The Fubuki girl must really care about Mayuri. I felt a little better after hearing that. The girl I like? The image of Krista appeared in the corner of my eye again. Feeling in my hands when I took her life came back. <laughs> no, calm down. <laughs> so, we've gotten a Rhine. From Mad Scientist. Which was the exact message we just sent back in the previous ending. The world can be tricked, connect the possibilities, deceive the world. So. This game has... I don't know what you call it. Um, an interesting way to get the true ending. So the reason why it's called Steins Gate Zero is if you look at the, the endings for the game, when we, the, the save we just booted, it splits and it goes two ways and they kind of curve around there like, like a zero and completing the one ending shoots the message back to the other ending, making it look like the zero with the line crossed through. So that's why it's called Steins Gate Zero. So by doing the ending we just did first, we've gone this way. We've sent the message, we've come back up, and now we're going down the other side of it like this. If we had gone the other way, basically you'd go this way, hit the bad end, hit the normal end, go all the way back, go this way, send the message, and have to replay everything towards the normal end. Um, so it's, it's interesting um, in that sense. And this is exactly why I did it this way for streams. It saves you having to redo the this portion of it. Um, that being said, knowing what happens, uh, for like generally knowing what happens, because I've seen the anime, um, the anime goes the route I didn't pick because thematically it makes more sense. Does that mean there's another ending where you don't turn off the phone? but also don't receive the message. Yes. So if, well, n not quite. If you don't turn off the phone, but haven't completed the other route, you don't get this message, which means at best you can get the normal ending, but you need this message to get the true ending.
That's also the sign that I've done things properly. Because you can mess it up. You can... If you exit the game before, like, the credits are done and before it saves your system data, it doesn't count as having done it. So if you, like, get to that ending and shut the game off without letting it save it, and then reload from the save, you don't get it. <laughs> so you can mess yourself up by doing it that way. Uh, so this is only step one to the true ending and you can still get the normal ending. So... Uh, yes, so the way it works is, if you remember in the first game, it looked like we got an identical ending, and then Suzuha came, and then we did more stuff, and that gave us the true ending. I'm pretty sure it's the same way here, that it, you would get the normal ending, you'd go through it, the game would finish there, and if you've gotten this message, if you've done the other ending, then it continues and you get the true ending. Uh. Oh. Oh. Heidi and Fubuki were looking at me worried. I got away from them as fast as I could. That won't worry them, sprinting away from them. So welcome to X-Day Protocol. Uh, this is our, uh, our next Testo. chapter, as it were. Yametai desu. When I started the conversation with that, both Dr. Leskinen and Maho looked shocked. We were meeting in a room at a luxury hotel in the heart of Tokyo. I like the sort of secret meeting you'd see in a spy movie. Maybe it only felt that way because the old me wasn't completely gone. S so this game, the true ending, is... it's dead simple. There's... Um... Actually, let me count how many choices we had. So, one, two, three to get to the text message, and then four, five. This game only has five choices needed to get the true ending. That's it. Three of those are to get to that message we just sent, and then two are to get to, uh, and then one is to then take the other path that takes you towards the true ending. And then the other one is to get towards the the regular true ending instead of the bad ending on this side. That's all this game has. Whereas in the previous one, um, at one point there's a chain of I think it's five text messages. You have to, and you know how it gives you the options of like three texts to pick from. You have to pick the correct one each time. <laughs> so if you are not following a guide, good luck with that. It is a pain. I applaud whoever mapped it out originally. Um, because <laughs> it, it is, yeah, it is a bit of a pain. <laughs> Maho seemed to finally understand what I meant, and her anger was clear. Maho, Dr. Lesson smiled and offered me his hand. I took hold of his giant hand and shook it back, but I looked down, unable to meet him in the eye. I guess this is the first time it's a different perspective showing the impact of a copy another time. Yes, so so from from an overarching point of view, what what this is supposed to look like thematically is Okabe does this um goes like back in time, goes the other route, realizes he needs like what he's done and needs to fix it by doing this but instead of him going back sends a message to himself previously and then he goes back it's it's weird <laughs> um but yes you you have the necessity of it's it's the the part i like about it is the necessity of him having to have failed to get to this point 
Um, he he needs to have failed. He needs to have gone through all that happened in the previous arc to get to the point where he needs to be at to start this one, which in turn eventually gets him to where he needs to be to save himself in the original Steins Gate, because that is the end goal of this game, is to get him back to the point where he is on track to do what he did in the original Steins Gate. So it is several failures getting him to the point that he needs to be to get to the true ending. ただ、Sometimes an outfit. <laughs> Those outfits are now DLC. ちなみに逆です。逆。アマデウスとクリスと話すのはとても楽しいんです。でもそれが And then I desperately tried to explain the feelings that were welling up within me, even though I still didn't understand them myself. I told them how scared I was that I was starting to see Chrisu and Karisu as the same person. エムテウスを捉えているという意味で私も勉強になるよ。こんな言い方や感じ方になってしまうのを許してほしい。何しろ根っからの研究者なものでね。The Infinity Carbine. いえ。こっちもわがまま言っているのは分かっているんです。Maho hadn't said a word for a while. She was frowning, and she seemed to be intently focused on studying Amadeus's logs. I didn't want her looking at me, because it made me feel guilty, but... アンデオスと話すのも話さないのも君の自由だ。クリスの方からは君に連絡しないようにいておくから。私たちと君との関係を今日これで終わりにはしたくないんだ。せっかくできた日本の友人だし。それ <laughs> it felt like giving in, but at the same time, I didn't want to lose my relationship with Dr. Leskinen. My goal of going to Victor Condry University hadn't changed at all. And then Dr. Leskinen got a call on the smartphone. Dr. Leskin left the room with a mischievous wink. I was alone with Maho. <sighs> I 
いや教授の言う通りこちらがお願いしている立場なのにアマデウスは今の私にとっては姉妹うん子供みたいなものだから。それを投げ出されたように思えてつい力になれなくてすまないあなたの気持ちも分かっているつもりよあるいはつもりだったかしら魔法サイドゲーム自己嫌悪だわダメね私多分全頭全皮質がひねくれてできてるのよそうに違いないわああ全頭全皮質は人格を形成する部位の一つね情報のフィルタリングを行うこともあるわ己の中の認めがたい情報を遮断したり自己欺瞞を行ったりよくわからない要するにむき出しの浄土を隠そうとしてとっさに嘘をついたりするのよ他人だけじゃなく自分自身にもね今の私みたいに難しい言葉を並べて自分を取り繕ってやろうとかこういうことも全頭全皮質がやってるんだと思うわ That apply just as well as the old me Kyoma Holwyn. When I realized that, there was nothing I could say. So you could have the other dome of it. But I see what took a bit of heat on you. Tabu. Congo Mo Kigamo Itara de Icara. Amadeus, so come at the other day. Oh no, Mizikai, you can't even know. Good thing you always go non lethal. Maho flopped back onto the sofa. Chris no. Haoya no koto. Oh? Mai ni party no toki. Kimi to Reski nen kyoji ga hanashite iru no ga guzen kikoe tanda. クリスの家にその<笑>何かあったって。See, I for most games I would like to play it stealthy. I just don't know if I have that skill or patience in most games. So I basically like build myself for non-stealth, try and stealth it, and when I inevitably fail to stealth, I'm like, well, I'm prepared for this. Give me that power plus badge. Oh. あのこと。魔法 seemed to remember it quickly. She nodded. クリスのお母さんから電話があったの。家に放火された。That unnecessary comma. え？大丈夫なのか。Give me that power badge. <笑>ちょうどその日は留守にしていたから大丈夫だったそうよ。That was a relief. To all that had happened, I really didn't want Chris's mom, mother, to have to go through any more. I, Chris's mother, was a very cute girl. On the day of the funeral, I was also very happy to see her at home. So I was worried. I was worried about her. I was worried about her. I was worried about her. I noticed the way she said that phrase. A cold chill ran down my back. Maho seemed unsure if she should tell me. I urged her to speak. He nodded slightly. That's right. At first, the police were 
FBI を名乗る人たちが来たらしくて FBI? ええ FBI が出てくるような事件じゃないのにもそれと放火した犯人を隣の住人が目撃していたそうなんだけどその証言によると犯人はただの放火犯には見えなかったってというと複数犯でねなんだか特殊部隊みたいだったってほとんど何も喋らず火をつけたらすぐ近くに止まっていた車に乗り込んで去っていったそうよこんな言い方が正しいかどうかわからないけど手際がすごく良かったみたい火の周りも異常なほど早かったらしいわ Was he trying to say that it was no ordinary arson, but the work of a professional? I couldn't laugh away the possibility. I knew for a fact that there were people like that in this world. Sorry. Sorry. So, no, Hanin Tachiga. Doshiago Hanaste Tate. Russian? First thing that came to my mind, whether I liked it or not, Nakabachi. Half a year ago, he'd stolen a paper about time travel from Chrisu, his own daughter, and used it to seek asylum in Russia. That have something to do with it? Sorry, to more than one. Chris was not in the same way. I was in the same way. I was in the same way. I was in the same way. 地元警察と一緒に日本の刑事という人が来たのよ日米の合同捜査でクリスの事件を調べているってもちろん私たちはできる範囲で協力したんだけれど何日か経って大学が警察に問い合わせをしたらそんな刑事が日本から来た事実はないって言われたわじゃあその日本の刑事は偽物だったそれだけじゃないの地元警察も私たちの研究室を捜査した事実はないってつまりね So what I'm hearing is Metal Gear Solid 3 is the first version of Animal Crossing except it's based around death and not money 偽物そのことがあってから Maho shook a little and wrapped her arms around herself. I... Chris's story has something to do with it. I don't want to be a fan of the game. I want to be a fan of the game. I don't want to be a fan of the game. I don't want to be a fan of the game. So it's like the Paper Mario lottery you can only win after 250 real days have passed or some such figure. Really, I didn't know that. So, uh, hello internal clock changes. <laughs> and you've only got a week and then it resets. <laughs> I mean, at least for the Paper Mario one, you pay, what is it, like 10 coins and then it's free afterwards. If you set the clock backwards, the lottery bomb murders you. <laughs> it's great. Oh, I'm... I was busy not reading text. I was the one who killed Chrisu. The police never found out. It never would. Probably. No one could prove a murder that had been committed by a time traveler. The police announced that a foreign thief had snuck into the storeroom at the radio building. Kristen had been killed because she saw him. Supposedly, there was an international warrant out for the thief's arrest because he'd already left the country. Yeah, I, I just got the buzz for the link. <laughs> when I killed Kristen, there was one other person there, Dr. Nakabachi. It was figured that his name hadn't come up at all. Russia, CERN, the time machine... 
I remembered the future that Suzuha, perhaps I should should say John Titor, had spoken of. Initiating the battle at the end and then not playing for eight days. <laughs> She'd said World War III was going to start within a decade. It would be the time machine that set it off. The EU and Russia would also be in a race to develop it, and then even America would intervene. That would be the spark. You can also kill him within the first five minutes of starting the game. Saving and quitting during the battle and then coming back a couple days later and you automatically lose the battle. This is a very intricate boss. Sounds like time travel is needed. Was I, were we at the center of a chain of events that would result in the death of five billion people? But I couldn't help but feel that way. I couldn't stop for myself from shaking as I looked at Maho's face. That was dangerous. She tried to learn the truth. There could be no doubt that she put herself in danger. The rounders who came crashing through the veil of night. My childhood friend who died in my arms after being shot in the head. After that, the nightmarish and seemingly endless time loops. All the horrors that I'd experienced in the Alpha World line came flooding back, and I fought to stifle a moan. After I said that, I regretted it, but it was too late. <laughs> Maho's gaze had turned into a piercing glare. <clears throat> a panic was about to show. I quickly covered my face with my hands. Do you know something about the murder? Um, n no, no, um, uh, I'm, I'm fine, I know nothing, don't worry. そんなはず。ないだろう。そう。変なこと言って悪かったわ。私、クリスのことになると、つい無気になってしまうの。<laughs> if you can't see them, they can't see you, meaning you're innocent, obviously, of course. If you're in the police lineup, and you've committed murder, just do this. You can't see them, they can't identify you, you're not the murderer. Perfect crime, right there. <laughs> Good night, Samses. Take care. <laughs> Heavy silence filled the air between us. <laughs> there is your bedtime hydrate. I felt like I had to say something, but fortunately Dr. Leskin came back just then. He was right up in my face. Maho and I nodded and stood up from the sofa. I was just barely able to smile back at Maho. <laughs> 1.5 meters, friends. I mean, were we in a pandemic in December of, tw of 2010? <laughs> I saw a dark blue van come around the corner of the underground parking lot. Its tires squealed a little. It wasn't a Japanese car, it was a station wagon that looked like a sports car from some foreign manufacturer. 
I didn't know a lot about cars, but supposedly if you purchased it from a dealer, it could easily go for over 8 million yen. Uh, 8 million yen would be about 80,000 US. The reason I knew that all this was because the car's owner had told me over and over. Okay, what is the logo on the front of that car? Uh, that looks like a Subaru. Isn't the Subaru the one with, like, the swish and then the, the stars? That's what it looks like to me. If you're paying 80 grand for that car, uh, I think you need to be buying a new car. Associate Professor Zaki came out from the driver's side. I was eating with Dr. Leskin and Maho. He called me about something else. When I told him I was having dinner with the two of them, he offered to drive us home. Dr. Leskin tried to refuse, but Izaki had insisted so much that we had no choice but to accept. Oh, Deadbeard's got the link. Will it let me hover view? No, but I have... Okay, it's not quite... Ah, uh, it's close. Isn't Super that mystery-solving dog? Get a pretty nice car for an associate professor. This was the cause of a lot of speculation around the college. Some people had said his family was rich. Others no, that he had the wife of some CEO as a patron. He once quietly told me the truth, that he was single and spent all his money on his car. But who even knew if that was true? Subaru, where are you? <laughs> Zaki was acting like he was a professional chauffeur, opening the rear door and escorting Dr. Leskin and Maho. Dr. Leskin thanked him and got inside. Maho went around to the back to load up her luggage. He grinned and poked me with his elbow. He was a hard guy to hate, but for an associate professor, he seemed kind of shallow. It's one of the most unfortunate things about him. He waved to me and opened the driver's side door. Hmm? What was that sound? But at the same time I heard the strange sound, a hole appeared in the window of the front passenger side. Zaki screamed and fell back on his butt. The rear window exploded. I panicked. Was this some kind of supernatural phenomenon? I was too confused to move. And then, in the corner of my vision, I saw someone. A man I didn't know appeared out of the shadow of one of the pillars. He was holding something strange in his hand. It looked kind of like a handgun. It was tiny with a short barrel and kind of flat. I couldn't see any kind of silencer. I remembered him from somewhere. Felt like we'd met before. Where? I thought, but nothing came to me immediately. The man was standing there mumbling something to himself. <laughs> もちろん well, no one Twitch, uh, whoever owns the copyrights of the Bible is going to DMCA this part. Okay, that actually lines up with what they said. Because uh, 8 million yen is about 80,000 US dollars. That lines up. Okay, 
固めであろうとも銀の無の谷の炎に投げ入れられるよずっと幸いに違いない Valley of Enam Name of valley in eastern Israel on the south side of the old city district of Jerusalem the valley was once where impure garbage and executed prisoners were disposed of it was always filled with fires, black smoke, and a horrible stench. It was also where human sacrifices were offered to Molech. And so people fe and so it was feared and avoided by the people. The sight of this valley constantly burning with unholy fires became linked in people's minds with the idea of hell. Later, Gehenna would become a symbol of hell. The Hebrew root for the Hebrew root word was Gehinom, which became the Greek Gehenna. And later the English Gehenna. This is also why the flames that burn in hell are sometimes known as the flames of Gehenna. There was an aura of intensity and madness about the man as he pointed his gun at us. Again. <laughs> the individual puff publisher Muffin Books. <laughs> Zaki stood up, turned around, and fled in terror like a startled rabbit. That sound again. It was so soft and light. I couldn't even imagine that it was a gunshot. But this time, the car's windows didn't break. And it didn't blow a hole in me either. It missed? Was he too focused on Izaki? <laughs> look, look at Maho's face in the bottom corner! <laughs> Uh, that's great. But you wouldn't be that lucky again. Move. <laughs> Now's the time to remind you that I'm pretty sure we don't have our driver's licenses and have never driven a car. Also, I'm glad he left the keys for us. Oh, is this gonna, gonna come a simulation? Do I get to drive around Japan now? I pushed Maho into the back seat and crawled into the driver's side. Thankfully, the engine was still running. I slammed down on the pedal without even bothering to shut the door. The sound of a powerful engine shook the underground air. Unfortunately, I was still in park, so this did absolutely nothing. The attacker flinched at the incredible noise and vibration. But the car didn't move. Did I predict this? It didn't move an inch. Dr. Leskin and Maha were keeping their heads low in the backseat and shouting loud enough to be heard over the engine. Why is the one person who doesn't know how to drive a car the one driving the car? I took my foot off the accelerator. I glanced over at the gear shift. It was stuck next to the in Who You just leave your car in neutral? And then, through the windshield, I saw the attacker ready his gun again. Is he, is he invisible? He was aiming at me. The look in his eyes told me he was ready to kill without hesitation. Crap. <laughs> Cracks like a spiderweb appeared in the windshield. Something went past the side of my head. I felt a sharp pain, and at the same time, a ringing in my ears. All the other sounds faded away and started to disappear. I felt myself passing out. Then Maho jumped over the seat and slid into the passenger side. My mind was pulled back to reality. I slammed the door shut, just as she told me to. Maho shifted from neutral to drive and leaned over the top leaned over top of me to grab the wheel. I slammed the accelerator so hard that for a moment the wheels were almost spinning in place and then the car leapt forward. The attacker was getting closer. You're gonna hit him. I was about to take my foot off the accelerator when Maho shouted. I gritted my teeth and did as she said. 
but there was no impact. Evidently, the attacker had leapt away at the last second to avoid being crushed. Smart move. But there was no time to confirm it as the car raced through the parking garage. We were going too fast, and since Maho was controlling the car from the passenger seat, she couldn't keep it going in a straight line. The car spun to the left and the right, and I was almost flung out of the broken window. I grabbed onto the edge of the seat as hard as I could. We headed for the exit, slamming into walls and pillars as we went. Hope you got insurance, bud! I could see an exit sign right in front of us. Hello, Avier, how is it going? I pressed the brake, put my hand on top of Maho's, turning the wheel to the right. That was the wrong thing to do. Rear tires slipped. The car spun in a circle. And then it came to a stop. I looked back and saw Dr. Luskin lying face up on the seat, giving me a thumbs up sign. <laughs> I quickly put my hand on the door, got ready to get out of the driver's seat. Then I saw an old creaky sedan rumbling towards us and shivered. It was the man from a moment ago. He was following us, moving really fast. That broken when we slammed it into the wall? <laughs> I grabbed Maho out of the passenger seat and rolled outside. Dr. Luskin rolled out of the rear door. It was less than a second afterwards that the sedan hit. If we'd been even just a little too slow, we would have been turned into mincemeat. <gasps> Stood up and offered Maho a hand, and then moved away from the unrecognizable wreck that used to be a car. Oh gosh, that's a terrifying image. Both cars were smashed together. The attacker sedan was completely embedded in the rear half of the car we'd been driving. There was no way he could have survived. There were no tire marks on the ground, which meant he'd slammed into us without braking. I shivered. I had almost been killed. Again. <laughs> I was about to pull up my smartphone when the security guard heard the commotion and came running. You're assuming that they're actual security guards. Security guard nodded and contacted the police. I feel a pulsing ache on the side of my head. Oh, you silly kid. You kids, you... <laughs> shot from the gun had grazed me. I hadn't felt that pain at all while I was driving. I fearfully reached up to touch it and felt blood flowing from my temple down my face. I gulped and I saw my fingertips had turned bright red. I almost saw Mayuri when she was shot in the head. I almost saw Christy when I killed her. The images felt like they were about to come flashing back to me, and I struggled to stay standing. That's why I'm literally kneeling. See? Yes, this this is how standing works. Maha went pale. Okay, who's ready to learn about science late at night? Superficial temporal artery, an artery located at the terminal branch of the external carotid artery. It travels from the neck to the head, between the temples and the ears. It supplies blood to the skin, ears, and jaw joints. 
少し触るよ Dr. Lesson looked at the wound. When he touched me, I felt more pain, but I gritted my teeth to endure it. Put the handkerchief he offered me up to my temple. That's right. It sounded like he was insulting Chrissy, so I shouted. Objection at him. That was the guy. This is way of getting back at me. Not a chance. Kamino,私、魂とは神の子である我々にこそ宿る。決して、シリコンの上には宿らない。何？銃を撃つ前に言ってたんだ。I could faintly hear police sirens in the distance. The hotel security guards and staff were starting to gather. I mean, I, ho I hope your thing has security cameras. You just had to clear your search history because the three most recent searches. How much does a Subaru cost, Japan? Can the sun be weaponized and is poo on my phone? <laughs> she, Dr. Luskin, and the crowd were all staring at a single point. I look too. And almost screamed. Oh, cool, he's still alive. The man crawled out from the wreckage of the sedan, covered in blood. And then he staggered to his feet. It looked like a zombie. All his limbs, except the one holding the gun, were pointed off in impossible directions. I could see what looked like bones sticking out from them. His stomach was torn open, and each time he crawled forward I could see major organs, covered in blood, falling out of the hole. But he moved towards us as if he felt no pain at all. It was such an awful sight that no one could speak. The man unsteadily aimed the gun toward Dr. Luskinen. He must have been on the verge of death because his arm was flailing around too much to aim, but Dr. Lesson's expression was pure terror. He seemed unable to move. <laughs> A shot rang out. Fresh blood flew out of the man's head, and his body was blown away as if he'd been hit by a truck. He fell to the ground, still clutching his gun. He tried to crawl forward anyway, but soon twitched and stopped moving. The crowd began to scream. The attacker had been shot? Did he shoot himself? No, the gunshot was clearly different than the last ones. Who had just fired? Ah oh, yes, let me look through this empty garage. I could see several policemen coming from the entrance, but none of them had their guns drawn. And the crowd was nothing but security and hotel staff. I couldn't see any of them carrying a gun. So who had fired? And where had they fired from? <laughs> Is sus on security? 
The way they took the attacker's head off with a single shot. Not just anyone could do that. Of course, no one told me. Afterward, the police came and took us into custody. We were taken to the police station and questioned until late into the night. The sun was almost about to rise by the time we left. The police took me home in a patrol car. Dr. Luskinen and Maha were having the police take them to their hotel in Waco. We split up in front of the police station. We never did find out why the man had attacked us. And we're gonna become Suzaha. She felt dizzy. That's strange, Suzaha thought. She stopped moving. Since she was in the middle of the sidewalk, the other pedestrians looked irritated as they moved around her. Oh. And I think that's gonna be where we stop for tonight.